Hello again to our next episode of uh, U-102's Adventures in the North Atlantic. In our last episode we have contact report of a enemy convoy. I've plotted a course we are going to intercept and uh, yeah, there he is. In about uh, 10 hours he should be around this position. We have roughly eight hours to get there. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy, große Fahrt voraus. We speed up. And uh, then we will try to intercept the convoy. That means uh, right now we have uh, 1823 hours. That's uh, six hours. That's around midnight. We should be there. So we can get ourselves into position and hopefully. Okay, I cut the video here and I'll be back with you soon. Yeah, we have received a new uh, report uh, from the BDU, which means he has obviously maybe a boat in the vicinity of the convoy because the course was corrected. We have the convoy now here. Ten hours ago it was here. Which means they obviously don't make as much speed as they should. And uh, we are getting ourselves now into position. We need to get here. Yeah, that's okay. So, okay, we have, uh, of course, uh, pitch black night which means um, we are staring right into the ass of a bear as long as it is. So yeah, that will be fun. Okay, I got to here, be back in the footer. Yeah guys, we have the first sound contacts. Uh, they are still pretty far away, uh, but I don't want to surface right now because I'm absolutely not sure if these guys have uh, radar escorts or not. Neuer Kurs, eins, vier, but the sound is coming uh, general from that direction between 355 and 020. And we are now turning a little bit into their course to close the distance and get in a better position and then let's see what happens yeah here we have the sound picture begins at uh, 056 around then it gets louder that's the main body of the convoy there's an escort Okay guys, let's see what kind of shipping that is. But yeah, we have them in contact a little better than before. They should be coming closer now. We 
can hear individual sounds now. And it should be about uh, maybe seven kilometers out of there. We will close the uh, distance a little bit more and then we'll attack. Yeah, we can hear them. Kriegschiff auf 1, There's another one. So basically that's the side uh, escort protecting the side of the uh, convoy. That's the front escort on the, at, the, at the start of the convoy. That's another one on the side, yeah. That's a pretty well defended convoy for 1940. That's a bigger unit of a merchant. Definitely a bigger unit, maybe a tanker or a passenger ship, but certainly something in the range of uh, yeah, six, seven thousand or above in tonnage. I can't see anything. Ah, there he is. Well, this means he's about... Uh, when we get the contact here at night, it's about 5,000 meters away, that thing. Now, uh, let's identify him, so we don't know what we have to deal with. Oh, it's a tribal class. Holy... So they have... A travel class in this convoy. One of the most dangerous destroyers in the whole of World War II. Yeah, that seems fun. Jesus Christ, this guy alone could uh, pound the living shit out of us with his depth charges. And he can do that for hours. Also, they have, as they are the, by them, the, the, the first travel class destroyers came into service about uh, 1938, 1939. So they had the, they had the most, uh, uh, the most modern equipment available to the Royal Navy at that time, which made them. Uh, so bloody uh, dangerous. And almost all of them had radar sets from the get go. So, yeah. Noise. Kriegsschiff auf 4 entfernt 
暑い。Kriegsschiff auf vier entfernt sich。Kriegsschiff auf sechs entfernt sich. Kriegsschiff auf sieben entfernt sich. Kriegsschiff auf acht entfernt sich. If you look at that, A and B class, uh, C and D class. Well, uh, the Hunts are not really destroyers. They're basically frigates or or destroyer escorts. But uh, if you look at the C and Ds and the A and Bs, that's basically a, a modernized version of a World War One design. Open turrets, uh, heavy torpedo armament. Uh, the Hunt, as the name implied, they were especially designed for um, anti-submarine warfare, and uh, they're from from the size you can see that here. The destroyers are about uh, fourteen hundred tons. The Hunts are four hundred tons smaller. That's the classic uh, World War Two destroyer escort, like the Buckley class in uh, or the Everts class in the in the U.S. Navy. Uh, classic anti-submarine uh, warfare vessels. Then we have the J class. Uh, that's that's one of the, the uh, first modern designs from the Royal Air Force uh, from the Royal Navy. I'm sorry. Then we have here the the, the L class. S and T all the but then here we got we have the travels. That's the bad boy. And as I said before, these guys here came into service about right nineteen thirty-eight at end, end of air at thirty-eight, uh, start of thirty-nine if I remember correctly. And these guys here are bloody dangerous. They had radar right from the from from the get go. I think uh, then they had uh, the most modern uh, version of the uh, Astic available at that time. They had a tremendously good uh, artillery armament, a much reduced torpedo armament because that ship is only useful in World of Warships, but not in reality. And uh, yeah. All in all, I have to say the travels were a damn successful uh, design. Uh, look at that! All the destroyer classes in here. Holy crap! And then we have the old, uh, uh, the old uh, American four stackers. Uh, which were uh, given from the uh, United States to the Royal Navy in, I think, 1940. Uh, 50 of them were given from the uh, United States to the Royal Navy because they needed urgent destroyers. They made the deal uh, uh, destroyers against land bases, and that's why. I Diego Garcia today is still an American base because before World War II it was a Royal Navy base. So, okay, now let's take a peek again if Mr. Convoy is coming close. Let's have a look. 
good quality A if we're just uh, Travel guy, okay, we need to get closer. But we are on a good course. Okay. We need to get closer and I cut the video here. Be back soon. Oh my god, I can't see nothing, absolutely nothing. I can't just... Yeah, there is barely a wake visible for me. I'm pretty sure you can see check on the, on the video, but that's, that's the brightest I can get out of this game. And uh, yeah, they are out there and coming closer, but I have absolutely no clue what they are except for Kriegschiff auf zwei, sechs, komm her. Uh, the two Conway escorts which we have constant sound uh, picture of the one is a flower class corvette on the side of the convoy and at the front is a trouble class destroyer and, and yeah i get the context here on the zwei, fünf, on the little target signs here but i cannot see anything holy crap zwei, vier, which means we have to get close like holy crap he will ram our turret off close <laughs> Yeah, we will have fun with that one. I see it already. <laughs> get the charge the living shit off of get again. Uh 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 Oh there look at that. There's the flower class corvette. I can barely see the wake of his bow. Holy crap. And in the background barely visible not even barely visible is uh sort of a merchant ship there's a tanker yeah barely visible uh, i'm sure you can see jackass uh, at the video but i apologize again uh, that's the only thing i cannot really change into something nice that's the uh The brightness of that game is nice. Yeah. At this point, we must be glad that it's still running. And I hope when Windows 11 is released, we can still get it to run because this game is really, really good. Okay, guys, I cut the video here. Try to get closer. Okay, we are now in position. The um, convoy is closing in. Yeah, I want to get into the position of the convoy in an almost 90 degree angle because 
Um, I could do a straight on shot if possible, which means I don't take any measurements, any angle on ball, nothing. I just wait until they Contact get Frachter. to Entfernt a sich auf 6 degree angle like this. And the moment you see this is in cover with this. The moment it comes to that red line, six degree is exactly the speed the Conway is running. The moment it comes to that line, I fire straight on. We have also data sheets here for uh, zero degree shots like this. Yeah, you see here. That's the torpedo settings, 30 knots, 40 knots, 44 knots. Uh, I have to uh, say the 44 knots setting was not used on uh, German U-boats in World War II. Not at all. This is a setting especially for the so-called E-Boote. Uh, fast motor torpedo boats or uh, PT boats as the United States Navy have called them. The U-boats only use the normal standard setting, 30 knots, and the medium, in this case, then the fast setting. That's all. They never had even the possibility to heat up the batteries to 44 knots. This is a gyro zero shot. That means... You have, uh, let's say, Kriegsschiff auf 327 entfernt sich. And uh, 90 degree angle to your target, the speed is 6 knots. Kriegsschiff auf 327 You wait about for 8.5 degrees and then you shoot and it gets right on and should hit the target. That said, uh, mostly it works only with uh, good weather because that's the torpedo depth charge. You see, the more wind per second, the more uh, unreliable and uh, deeper the torpedoes have to run. If you have a calm, absolutely no wind scenario, you can run the torpedo almost as a surface runner. If you have one meter per second, then the slightest you need already set the that's the T1, that's step number one. That means for the uh, wet runner for the T1, that's the T2 for the electric torpedo. And uh, yeah, when you have uh, 10 meter per second wind, you have to set the T1 torpedo already down to 2.5 meters and the, the electric torpedo to a minimum run of 4 meters. Above that, it becomes highly unreliable and uh, yeah, you know, premature detonations impact uh, uh, not working and so on and uh, the magnetic detonator not working. And at 15 meters a second, which is the scenario what we have now, all, maybe it's only 30 meters, not that they would care anymore. They have to set the T1 on a minimum of 3.75 meters or the electrical one on a minimum depth to work reliably. Yeah, reliably, that's almost a euphemism. On 6 meter depth. If you go above that, you're fucked. Okay, let's see. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Where is he? Kriegsschiff auf 279 entfernt sich. And he's there somewhere. Kriegsschiff auf 277 Oh, I can see. I can see a ship. There it is. Look at that. That's a big tanker. Kriegsschiff auf 275 entfernt sich. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. Kriegsschiff auf 273 entfernt sich. Jesus Christ. Oh, 
There they are, yeah. Kriegschiff auf 272 entfernt sich. There is the freighter. There is the tanker. Kriegschiff auf 272 There is another tanker. Oh. We need to go. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy, neuer Kurs. 3. Kriegschiff auf 272 entfernt sich. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy, Ruder 0 Grad. We need to go. Kriegsschiff auf Herr Kaloy, Ruder 1, entfernt sich. Okay. You know what, let's go ja, full Kaloy, degree, full 90 degree. Uh, good thing is it's early in 19. Oh, a troop transport. Let me check this. The good thing is. Right now it's uh, 24th August 1940. Even if they have a radar, they cannot pick up your periscope. It's too small for the early radars to get the signal off. But that changes in late 1943, early 1944. Ah, uh, what's that? There's another freighter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, we need, we need to get closer. I don't want to do a long distance shot here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. oh yeah. Quite often, to be honest, you can see some pretty damaged turrets from uh, uh, some U boats. Okay, it's far away, I can't see a little ship close by. That's the tanker, okay. We take the tanker, we do a salvo, two, one, and three. Identify ship. Ziel wird identifiziert. Uh, big tanker, 10.7 meters. Okay, we do. Let me try something. Okay, and the three gets the magnetic. 
Servo. Auf 2, 8, 7, entfernt sich. Okay, let's see, where is he? Oh man, I can I cannot see anything here. Okay, we do it. We have to do it. Six knots. Bow is on the left. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's all guesswork right now. I can't, I can't see anything here. Yeah, that should be okay. Let's go for 3000 meters and yeah, we take we take the Kriegschiff auf zwei impact fünf, pistol. Seven, eight and a half meters. Let's make it eight and. Now we should be working and fire one and three. Okay, the next one freighter, freighter. Troop transport. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Ziel wird identifiziert. Seven thousand. Huh? Huh? Okay, we need to go eight five. That means we need to go six and a half. Auf zwei acht drei entfernt sich. I take one shot here. I think that's not worth a a, a salvo. Nine meters magnetic. Got him. Uh -oh. Yeah. oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, two torpedoes. That should be enough to sink him. That's the troop transport. Kriegsschiff auf zwei acht zwei entfernt sich. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Ziel wird identifiziert. Oh, holy crap. Salvo. 12.6 meters. Okay, we make it the, uh, we make it 10. Impact. And let's hope that thing works. Because I cannot see for the love of God. Uh, yeah, 90 degrees. Fire two and four. Ah, fuck. I forgot to switch on the TDC that, but that could be a miss. God damn it. Oh, yeah, that's uh. Yeah. Okay, we need to get out of here. Oops. Uh oh. Kriegsschiff auf 
Yeah, he is burning. Gets psychological again. Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. Kontakt Frachter entfernt sich auf 3-2-2 mittlere Entfernung. Okay. Let's hope. Zero, that's medium distance. Contact yeah. Frachter entfernt sich auf zwei neun null mittlere Entfernung. Contact Frachter entfernt sich auf zwei neun fünf mittlere Entfernung. We try to get off the stern torpedo. Oh shit, premature detonation. Golly, bloody. Oh no, they are still running, so we have detonation. Most likely the tanker. Inside the Conway, it seems. Let's have a quick peek. Yeah, these two are most likely a hit, uh, a miss. I'm sorry. Yeah, that shit happens. them okay there's another one oh 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 there's the tanker oh crap there he is Oh, 
Jawohl, Herr Kalloy. Neuer Kurs 182. Ah, shit, I knew it. Tja, ladies and gentlemen. And now the fun begins. The depth charge. Der Zeitige Tiefe 2-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Jawohl, Herr Kalloy, neuer Kurs 1-6-5. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 6-0. Jawohl, Herr Kalloy, kleine Fahrt voraus. Jawohl, Herr Kalloy, neuer Kurs 1-4-9. Okay. So we have the attention of three escorts now. Auf zwei, drei, zwei. Komm, näher. Holy crap. Derzeitige Tiefe 1-0-0. Ja. We have now the attention of three escorts. One of them a fully stocked and kitted travel class destroyer. Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we have to go. Jawohl, Herr Kalloy, neuer Kurs 
Travel Class Destroyers. Oh, 16 in service, 12 of them sunk. And HMCS Haida is the only one who is left today. It's a museum in Canada. Yeah, Travel Class had about uh, 30 depth charges, the Flower Class had about the same, which means, uh, yeah, we have three of them, that's about 90, Ninety depth charges we can have. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy, neuer Kurs eins drei zwei. Thrown at us. Minimal, minimal estimation, because I don't know what kind of type the third escort is. It could be another destroyer, and some of these Royal Navy destroyers uh, have up to a hundred twenty depth charges. So yeah. Kriegsschiff kommt näher auf neun acht. Somebody's angry, that's for sure. <laughs> Holy crap. Kriegsschiff auf 86, komm näher. Eight six is here. Kriegsschiff auf 82, komm näher. Kriegsschiff auf sechs sieben kommt näher. Kriegsschiff auf drei fünf kommt näher. Kriegsschiff auf zwei sieben vier entfernt sich. Mhm. Kriegsschiff auf zwei vier fünf entfernt sich. Kriegsschiff auf zwei drei eins entfernt sich. Okay, let's see. Kriegsschiff auf 2-2-0 entfernt sich. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy, Ruder 0 Grad. Kriegsschiff auf 2-1-0 entfernt sich. Kriegsschiff auf 2-0-1 entfernt sich. Torpedo hat Ziel verfehlt, Herr Kaloy. Yeah, well, we tried. Let's see. 
here, okay. Two. Okay, there's one. There's two. There's number three. Holy shit, there is a fourth one. God damn it. Looks like we get away with it this time. Kriegsschiff auf 207. Kriegsschiff auf 197 entfernt sich. Kriegsschiff auf 176 entfernt sich. Okay, this guy here is going fast cruise. He cannot hear us. Okay, this guy here up goes fast as cruise. He can't hear us. Kriegsschiff auf 160 entfernt sich. There's a sound of a burning tanker. Kriegsschiff auf 156 entfernt sich. Going fast screws too. He can't hear us. This guy is going normal convoy speed. That means he is escorting. Okay. Kriegsschiff auf 156 entfernt sich. Did he just drop? Kriegsschiff auf 163 entfernt sich. Kriegsschiff auf 165 entfernt sich. 165, that's here. Oh yeah, he dropped. We're going now, one, three, nine, okay. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy, neuer Kurs, eins, drei, acht. GG. Yeah, our two first sinkings with our new boat. That would be nice if we could add the tanker to it. I mean, yeah, sadly this one didn't didn't work, but uh, yeah, we'll get another chance. Would be a nice one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. But I think there is even the. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. That's even the bigger one. Yeah. Yeah, they are still dropping, but uh, 
they have lost the contact which is good for us oh yeah they're dropping like hell Yeah, looks like we have been lucky. We scored a double torpedo hit on a, a big tanker. I know I don't. I just wish uh, that a the tanker is not a neutral one and b uh, and b that he either drops out of the convoy or sinks sooner or later I mean two sorry uh, two torpedo hits should be sufficient enough to send them down to the bottom sooner or later it's most likely just a matter of time and now we need to get a No horse contact? Okay. Yeah, it seems like we are auf eins, six, eight, entfernt sich. slowly creeping away. But we need to keep the contact with this convoy. That's obviously a a good one. But the problem is, uh, I hope. Yeah, the problem is if he goes there. I don't want to enter the shallow waters. That's a certain depth, uh, a certain death scenario. So I really do hope he goes up to the northern approaches on the on the northern part like here the patrol quadrant AM so we get time to get around get off a proper sighting report and uh, can attack him again but on the other side yeah he comes north with main JS troop transports in it so this this thing here came from the Mediterranean. He is uh, transporting troops to the North Africa uh, theater of operations because that's right now the only one where the the British army is involved. Up here it's uh, the Battle of Britain. That's Royal Air Force, not our problem. But the British Army is now, I mean, it's, uh, <clears throat> yeah, 21st August, 1940. They've beaten the living shit out, out of the Italians right now. Okay, that's good to know. So we might take a look at the entry to the Gibraltar Strait when we are done with this guy here. And it seems, yeah, we are creeping slowly away at two knots. They haven't pinged us for a long time, which means they have not even a clue where we are. And we get, we need to get away of them. And let's hope the tanker is uh, either sunk or has fallen back and dropped out of the convoy. Come on, 
give me a If we can keep the if we can keep the uh, keep it that way that we are not detected, they soon will leave. Go back to the go back to the escort duties they have. Yeah, if we can uh, stay undetected, they soon will leave and go back to their um, uh, escort duties because that's the prime directive they have to the escort for the convoy. Later in the war, especially uh, after uh, bloody May 1943, they will attack you and either uh, uh, bump the living shit out of you until they have a confirmation you're done or they hand you over to a hunt a killer group yeah but right now we just need to stay undetected and they soon will have to leave to resume their uh, escort operations And if that happens... If that happens... We will take a sneak peek. Look for the tanker. like they are re resuming their uh, escort operations still dropping a little bit but that's far off yeah that's pretty far off I mean the sound is, is uh, yeah quite a way We have them all in our baffles, slowly creeping away at the speed of a normal uh, walk. Yeah, but I really do hope... Uh Okay guys, I uh, cut the video here until we have uh, 
Oh yeah, they're dropping way too far away. Uh, okay, I cut the video here until we have uh, got rid of them and then we'll take a sneak peek and uh, look for the tanker. Yeah, we got uh, rid of the um, escorts. They went back to their destroyers after roughly one and a half hours. And now we are going to Periscope Depth and take a quick look around. Maybe we can see what happened to the tanker. Yeah, there is a pretty rough sea given the fact that the boat is already shaking at 20 meters depth. So we go and have a look for our freighter. Maybe he has fallen out of the convoy. That would be nice. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin, kleine Fahrt voraus! Then we need to go down back to 60 meters, then we will reload the tubes. After I assured myself that the escorts are not in the vicinity anymore. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, it looks like... Uh, Serious bad weather. I can't see nothing. Absolutely nothing. Holy crap. Thing to see here. Let's go to 60 meters. We lost the tubes. I'll be back with you. I'll be back with you when we have reloaded. Okay, we have reloaded the torpedo tubes and uh, we went back to periscope depth. I will now take a quick look and check the situation. And then we will surface and go to the hunt again. At least the weather is so bad we don't have to care for aircraft, that's good. Okay, nothing in the vicinity. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Große Fahrt voraus. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Auftauchen. Vorne oben 10, hinten kommen auch auf 5.
Yeah, a little bit uh, micromanaging here. We get the guys who are the most tired into the bunks. <laughs> already plotted a course hoping that uh, the convoy is still going north okay let's see if we can catch up again We have spotted a destroyer. It might be that this is the Conway, but I'm not sure of it. We need to get down and take a take a uh, search with the hydrophone. I went into this direction, no Conway. So I guess he must be somewhere around here. Tiefe, zwei, null. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Jawohl, Herr Kalloin, volle Fahrt voraus. Derzeitige Tiefe 6-0. Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Schleichfahrt. Hmm. Ja, yeah, sadly, we could not re-establish a contact uh, with the convoy right now. And uh, therefore, we couldn't confirm that the tanker we hit twice was sunk. So, yeah. Maybe. That's the destroyer. Nothing else, just a destroyer. God damn it. Kriegsschiff Entfernung gleichbleibend auf vier drei. Entfernung gleichbleibend. Ja, Entfernung gleichbleibend. Constant distance. Auf vier, sechs. Entfernung gleichbleibend. So he is basically traveling that direction. Hmm, maybe. Kriegsschiff auf 47. Entfernung gleichbleibend. Schiff auf 4-8, Entfernung gleichbleibend. Kriegsschiff auf 4-9, Entfernung gleichbleibend. Oh mein Gott. Kriegsschiff auf 5-0, Entfernung gleichbleibend. Ja, yeah, he is traveling a uh, uh, constant distance. Which means he is traveling a straight line. Entfernung gleichbleibend. He is now here. Kriegsschiff 
Kriegsschiff auf 5, 2, Entfernung gleich bleiben. Oh, no, he's fastening up. Kriegsschiff auf 5, 3, Entfernung gleichbleibend. Kriegsschiff auf 5, 4, entfernt sich. Kriegsschiff auf 5, 5, entfernt sich. Ah, oh, crap. Kriegsschiff auf 5, 6, entfernt sich. Kriegsschiff auf 5, 7, entfernt sich. Hm. Ja, yeah, that's uh, extremely bad luck. Kriegsschiff auf 5, 8, entfernt sich. That was uh, twice hit and we couldn't confirm the sinking. Yeah, really. Kriegsschiff like in auf reality. 5, 9, entfernt sich. Jesus Christ. And not a peep. Kriegsschiff auf 6, 0, entfernt sich. Auf der Conway. Kriegsschiff auf 6, 1, entfernt sich. Entfernt sich. Ja. Was schauen wir denn? Kriegsschiff auf 6, 7. Entfernt sich. Yeah, let's go back to our original uh, course and uh, Kriegsschiff auf yeah, sadly we have no confirmation of the hit tanker so far. Kriegsschiff yeah. auf 7, 8, entfernt sich. Bad weather and bad luck. Um, Kriegsschiff extremely auf 8, 2, entfernt sich. Yeah, but that happened in reality also, yeah. We have no radar, all we have are our eyes and no blue binoculars. That's not, not really, not really the best equipment to hunt enemy shipping. Okay guys, so I get rid of the destroyer and then I'll be back yeah, okay, we got rid of the destroyer and are surfacing now, and then, uh, yeah, let's see, hopefully the weather is better. Definitely look good from the periscope view. Oh yeah, 
size better. Oh, that's fine. We need something. Yeah, guys. This time we have the 100% realism setting more than even we wanted as we could not confirm the sinking of the tanker and we could not re-establish a contact to the convoy. We will now continue on our patrol and uh, I'll, fin I'll end the video here and be back with you in our next episode of U-102 uh, Adventures in the North Atlantic. Until then, stay safe. Have a nice week and uh, see you again. Bye-bye.